and uh, we're at London Dairy Congress here at Western Fair District in London, Ontario. We've put on a short course today um, entitled Artificial Insemination, but really it was uh, encompassing a lot of um, information around reproductive success, AI success, and uh, the question is what three things can a dairyman do to improve AI success? Uh, it's a fairly easy answer. Uh, first and foremost would be transition cows very well, get them uh, dried off, transitioned and brought into the milking stream as, as well as possible, looking after everything from um, dietary concerns to fresh cow screening, making sure the cow is doing well and reproductively she's starting to cycle. The second thing would be to uh, focus on the animals that are going to need more attention of those ones that you've determined to be either not cycling or have had trouble after calving. Uh, and focus uh, attention on those cows to get them clean, get them cycling, get them in a position where they can receive semen and have a better chance of getting pregnant. The third part of that would just be straight AI technique. Uh, so paying attention to detail on uh, semen handling, um, choosing the, um, the right program for the, the cow to be synchronized into heat, and then uh, delivering the semen in the, in the correct fashion. Um, and those three things probably would be the, the top three. Um, everything involves paying attention to fine details. So in this course here, we have uh, some of these fine ladies behind us, uh, young heifers that um, the attendants of the course were able to practice on just for the pure mechanics of finding the cervix, getting into the cow and, and learning a few more of the landmarks. This morning's part of the course was looking at all the reproductive um, synchronization, physiology, and uh, um, ins and outs of the cow cycle. One of the most important things about um, breeding cows and reproductive success would be ensuring that you are striving for a high pregnancy rate. The pregnancy rate anywhere around 20 or above is usually um, going to mean a fairly successful farm and that is all driven by milk production, fresh cows, uh, low herd days in milk because you constantly have cows calving. It allows you to make better, smarter cull decisions.